Hi uh, everyone. Um, today I'm going to talk to you about um, some of the different accent sounds we can get while staying on the drum head while playing brushes, uh, especially when playing circles. So um, there's a few different uh, ways of doing this. You can um, uh, and you can use them in combinations. I'll just go through them briefly, and we can talk about them. Um, one is just moving the brushes faster. Uh, usually uh, near the top of the drum, away from you works best because you get a little bit more high end that way and uh, it'll give you a nice accent. Uh, and all you're doing is when you're making the sweep, as you come in to the top of the head, you just move the brush faster. That's the motion. So it'd be like... You know, or it can be used while one hand is riding and the snares off. And we'll hear it that way. Uh, something like... So um, that's a really easy way of getting uh, that accented sound. Uh, it might be a little weird at first, especially if you're not super familiar with brushes, because you actually are uh, moving your hand at a faster rate at a certain point in the circle, but it actually has nothing to do with the tempo you're playing. So that might be a little strange at first, but you'll get used to it quickly. And, and actually, if you can trace out any of these patterns with your hands, that will help too. Just, and then when you add the brushes in, it just makes it easier. So that's the first one. Another one, which is quite related, uh, is uh, changing the amount of brush surface uh, that's on the head for the accented part in the circle. So I'm going to do that. And then in this case, I'm sort of just flattening my wrist as I'm making that circle. It's the, the motions of the hand would look like sort of like that. Right? You're just flattening out your wrist. And so that would be... And in that case, um, the whole circle, I'm moving the same amount, or it's the same rate, but then as I'm coming in for the accent, I'm uh, flattening my hand, okay? And again, you could use that in combination. Say you're playing time with the right hand with your left, you could just... Right, that works very well. Um, another one that works sort of in combination with this angled sort of approach is you can also hit the handle on drum while you're doing it. So you can get something like this. And you can get much more sort of a point to the sound or it almost sounds like two sounds, one sort of darker sort of melody sound while you're still doing the, the strokes. You can use it for filling in, you could, you know, sort of... Right? You can use all these things in combinations. Um, and, and, and in that case, all you're doing is you're going in on the angle and, and for you, those of you using sort of a French grip, you're just using a bit of fingers to move the, the handle down, right? Like that. You can also use it when you're coming off the drum, that, that sort of sound, but it's also a nice way of continuing the smooth sound of the brushes while you're still, um, and then getting an accent in different ways, right? So, and, and it's a good idea, you could practice them in, um, just compare them each other by playing a bar of each. So maybe I'll play a bar of the fast stroke to get the accent, a bar of the angled, uh, more brush surface uh, on the snare drum stroke, and then finally the accent stroke with the handle, okay? So that would go something like... Back to the, uh, the angled stroke, and then back to the fast stroke. So um, you can just experiment with these. Um, the differences between them are subtle, um, but I believe they uh, just give you a lot more options in terms of color when you're, especially when you're playing ballads or on a really soft gig, a, a way to create accents without necessarily coming off the drum and doing that. Although there's certainly a world of color you can use in that as well. So I hope this was informative and helpful, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Okay, thanks. Bye.